So today I'm talking about the clone theory that's going around in the Kangen Omega fandom. If you enjoy Kangen Ashura and Kangen Omega videos, subscribe for more. Now, I hope you enjoy. First is to go over Meguro from Kangen Ashura and Hayami from Kangen Omega, who serve the same person with Hayami calling uh, Katsumo Sana, the CEO that we see that betrayed the Kangen thing in the Annihilation tournament. With Yamashita meeting them is what mainly triggered him to look into the relation between Ryuki and Oma or to see if there is a relation. A few chapters later after the meeting, Hayami or I think it's the next chapter. The next chapter Hayami states that it's pretty strange isn't it how I have the same name as my brother. We learned that Miguro was his brother. While looking away with a vibe that he's hiding something because the panel's drawn showing him just like looking away as he says it so it seems like it's a lie or giving off the vibe of being a lie. This is what triggers Yamashita to send Oma's hair for testing which resulted in the worm taking it. Next we have Kenzo who tells Yamashita everything he knows about the worm and with the mention that he might have broken a taboo which could link to bringing people back to life in the form of clones. That's what I think at least. We learn that the worm has done many years of research on the brain with this panel. The cyber brain, broadly speaking, it's a technology that can link man and machine. We learn that people like Bando Yohei, the prisoner from King and Ashura, once worked for the worm like 10 to 20 years in the past in doing research on the brain as well. With him being someone who has a escaped to death on more than one occasion. Now I'm going to go over the clone theory and how I think it relates to Return of Omen and how it relates to Ryuki and Omen's connection. So it's mostly surrounded in mystery feature and worm with them doing research on the brain for over 30 years. They could have came up with a way to bring people back to life. So they could have been watching the Annihilation tournament and seeing that Omen was close to death in turn taking him when he died in the, at the end of Ashura. They bring him back to life and maybe started to clone him to get the power of the advance as they would have seen his power of the advance in the Annihilation Terminal but failed. This could explain where Ryuki came from. Maybe someone who was a failed clone of Oma but was one that was able to survive but didn't take on the power of advance as some other powers. But why is Oma with Rain at the chapter 50? This is what I think about a year and a half after the cloning took place. The Kuro clan received a knowledge about the worm so they decided to raid one of the worm's base or they looked into where a base could possibly be for worm ended up raiding it and that's where they uh, found Oma and then they used some of their healing techniques to heal him over that time and there it is in chapter 50. This will explain why in a recent Omega chapter the worm or the worm had taken the hair sample of Oma as that may be all they need to clone after they did all the tests on Oma when they actually had his full body and it may link Oma and Ryuki together. It could be just a strange coincidence that they look the same or very similar. They could be related somehow. I believe Ryuki came from the same deserted district as Oma. I'm not 100% sure if that's mentioned at the start of Omega. It may be, it may not be. Let me know if you remember down in the comments. But the clone theory that Ryuki is a clone of Oma, a clone that survived out of like many that failed and died, would be interesting. I think it would be pretty cool. I don't know if I really want that to be the case. I'd probably rather prefer Ryuki be his own person that this maybe is related to uh, Oma somehow but if that is the case I won't mind and yep there's the clone theory for the most part or that's what I think about it as a whole pretty much let me know your thoughts of the theory let me know your thoughts of chapter 50 I've uploaded two videos or it's probably the third video kind of on chapter 50 first one was the review second one was how I think or some theories on why I think Oma survived one being some input of the clone theory that I talked more about in this video hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed this Omega content, make sure to subscribe and that's it guys. Peace.